Race number seven, 1,600 metres for the seventh is a class four contest headed by full power here. Richard Gibson and Wagner Borges. He'll jump from barrier 12. He was a winner three starts back and runner-up last time out behind Enjoy Life, who comes in again in Joy Life. That was his fourth win in total and his second one course and distance. So we joy has been consistent. He was third to superb dandy last time out. Stunning impact, no luck with a draw. Moves from barrier 12 to barrier 14. Ran behind Classic Posh last time. Bulletproof's been consistent. Antoine Hamlin for Ricky Yu. Regency Master third last time out. Super winner rolled four despite drawing barrier number 11. Royal Racer off the inside gate for Vincent Ho. Wonder Express won two starts back and Jiang Lang Chi. Eligible for class five, but takes the lightweight here from barrier number 10. The drive, enjoy life, California legend and Wonder Express mark are the horses that have been on the road between Chung Fa and uh, Sha Tin. This is a good field, Andrew. Good to slow the pace. Maybe more good than slow with super winner California legend going forward. He was lame the morning after the race last time, California legend. Full power Regency master, Wonder Express getting into a nice spot. So we joy, he will like a good pace if it is indeed on bulletproof Royal Racer. Lines of three, back to stunning impact star win and car fortune on the inside. This horse here is stepping up to 1,600 metres, uh, which should suit him being by So You Think. He's been consistent over shorter distances, has run on the all-weather at 16.50, so the distance isn't going to be a problem. He moves nicely in his work and uh, a good piece here from him. So he's got the wide draw. Bulletproofs look good all the time. Uh, he's always staying on. Uh, he's yet to win from his five starts, but 1,600 metres. He's by distance, so I think 1,800 is going to be his go long term, but he goes nicely enough here as well. And down the back, Regency Master, a good run from him at his last start at a massive price when he ran third. Uh, Zach Purton will, will jump aboard, the son of Savabeel as well. He's only had the five starts, but he's going well in the mornings as well. All right, well, let's uh, start off with uh, Enjoy Life winning last time out with a few of these horses in behind. They're all a little bit better off at the weights, but uh, can they reverse the placings, Mark? I'm not sure. There's a few that don't come out of this race as well, Andrew, that are right in the mix here as well. And Joy Life's very sharp at the end of this. He runs past full power. Regency Master, um, he ends up running third in this and he gets going again. He looked gone at the turn. He fights on very solidly. Bulletproof is getting better with racing, but he was very good at the end, Paul. Yeah, it was, it was a nice uh, win from him, but he hasn't really uh, been consistent throughout his career here. So... The other one, Full Power, I think has got a bad draw and I'm not, not sure he's going to be in the map. The other two, I'm, I'm quite interested in though. I'm going to take them out of the race. Regency Master and Bulletproof. All right. Um, what about uh, So We Joy? This is him over the 1,400 metres last time out. So he gets up to the mile for the first time, Paul, but gets barrier 13 in the process too. That's the problem. Uh, he's, he's going to have to, uh, have to work a bit from barrier number 13. The 1,600 for me is not a problem. It's more the draw. He's got Joe Marrera to help him offset that though. I've got him in the numbers. I, I think he's running well enough. He's been consistent. He's only had seven starts, Mark. That horse on the outside in the striped jackets, impeccable fellow who did win last weekend. It was a class five. He's had a start, so with Joy over 16.50 on the all-weather. He just looks like a horse that will just keep coming all day. Didn't find a spot for him in the top four, but really wanted to. All right, Wonder Express, uh, third last time out with Sunny Impact and Super Winner in behind. They're all chasing uh, uh, classic posh on this occasion, Paul. I like Stunning Impact as a horse. He's trialled really well since this run. Uh, the third, he should have won when he was third two starts ago. He got held up at a bad time. He got a bit further back than he, than he would have liked here. He's drawn 14. So I think um, Karras knows this horse now. This was his first ride on him. He'll ride him once again. I think he'll go a little bit earlier. So he's the one I'm going to take at a stunning impact. I think he's after that trial, he looks tough to beat for me. You will see the trial shortly. Lovely ride too on um, Wonder Express. He ran third in that race on the back of a Class 5 win. Again, didn't find a spot for him, but he was certainly on the fringes. All right, so here is the trial. Yes, stunning impact uh, back on the all-weather. So you might as uh, lead us through this, Paul. Yeah, look, you can see him. He comes down the outside and he's going effortlessly at the moment. He, he comes away. You can see that the horse in the red sleeves is under the under the bat as well, but it was, he didn't even move on the horse, I thought. It was a really nice trial. You know, as I mentioned, he should have won two starts ago. He backed up with a fifth. I think this can be his, his race, so uh, I do like him. I think he can uh, win this. Don't think he's beaten a whole lot in that trial, but the way he did it was the best part about it. It was an arrogant trial victory. All right, but enjoy life. Last start, win a favourite again, but no prices for guessing who's on top for you, Paul. Yeah, stunning impact. I'm going to go with him. Uh, I think the, the 1,600 metres looks ideal for this horse. Uh, bulletproof, I, I prefer him over 1,800, but I still think he'll run pretty well. Renzi Masters on the improve. 
Uh, it was a good run from him last time, and so we, so we joy. Just got to overcome that wide draw. I think the six can win, though. Six, seven, eight, and four. With the six as well, standing impact. That last start that he had at Sha Tim, we saw in replay, he was four wide coming down the side. So even with Barry number 14, again, as long as he can get a bit handier and some more cover this time, the trial win was magnificent. Seven bulletproof is just getting better and better with racing. Full power goes up four pounds for his second behind Enjoy Life, but he's fairly consistent. Take out that 12th two starts ago. And Enjoy Life, um, as Paul said, not overly consistent. Normally, his last three have all been pretty good, however. So perhaps even towards start 50, he might be just getting towards the right way of things. Six, seven, one and three. All right. Well, I left Stunning Impact out last time. I've left him out again. Uh, seven and eight is my cue there. In, uh, Stunning Impact uh, doesn't make the top four. We'll see how that plays out uh, for me on Sunday.